Hello. So in this video, I'd like to talk about this idea of knowing things through spiritual ways because this kind of comes up sometimes in my conversations with religious people. So I'm making this video to explain the questions I find useful to ask in having a well productive conversation about this topic. So you guys could also pitch in and perhaps give me some comments and feedbacks to help me improve. Uh, so let's get to it. Apart from people who claim to be able to gain knowledge in spiritual ways, there's also this idea that spiritual knowledge is somewhat different from secular knowledge. For example, they might say something like science and religion are in charge of different aspects of our life and they solve different problems. Well, so what problems does this religion solve? It seems there's two types of answer we could get. One is to solve something regarding to our everyday life. For example, it makes us live happier. It tells us what is the right thing to do. Another would be it tells us something about the spiritual world. Uh, so regarding how spiritual knowledge can help us improve our everyday life, my thought then goes like this. Uh, we have a field of psychology that <laughs> deals with happiness. We have a field of philosophy that deals with ethics. Now seems out of science expertise. More generally, seems anything that can help us with our everyday life, there tends to be a science for it. <laughs> and because it's, it's useful, right? So people want to study it and get money for doing so, <laughs> because you know how this goes. Uh, it is therefore not appropriate to say science and religion take care of different problems with this regard. Uh, many people who don't have religious belief, well, they might also assert this as a benefit of religious belief. So I would also note that for many people, religious belief have made them less happy or less moral. Not all of them, some of them. This is are important to know, and this can be very dependent on the specific beliefs, such as should other gay people be allowed to be getting married? Should other people to be allowed to get an abortion? Or something like that, you can perhaps imagine. Again, not all of them, some of them, because this often comes up. Not all Muslims! <laughs> it gets kind of silly because it kind of changed the topic of the conversation. Now, on the other hand, the problem of getting knowledge about the spiritual world is knowledge about spiritual world is always somehow linked to what we do in this world, in the physical world. Otherwise, it wouldn't be useful. It would be like a fairy tale, like Harry Potter or something. It would be interesting, very interesting indeed. But not usually how people decide to whether to join a religion or not. You don't convert to Harry Potterism. Regarding what they all saw. <laughs> anyway, so uh, when spiritual knowledge have an impact on our physical world, it becomes important to be able to know whether it is true or not. But it seems obvious we can be tricked into believing that we know something about the spiritual world, but mistaken, considering all that incompatible religions out there. This then comes down to how can we know our spiritual knowledge is true. Now with such reasonings, here's how I think this conversation can be had. First I will ask what is the main purpose of spiritual knowledge. Or another way to phrase it, if science and religion answer different questions, what do you think is the most important question that religion answers, and how does that affect your life? Uh, knowing the answer to that, I would then ask, is that something important for you to hold your religious beliefs in? Because if not, then we can just move on to talk about something important for the person to. And for example, if the purpose of learning the spiritual knowledge is for us to live better lives, then if you're shown to your satisfaction that another method make people even happier than your religion, for example drugs, uh, would you consider changing what you believe? Uh, and if it is important to you that your religion offer reward in the spiritual world after you die, then considering there are many different religions that claim different things need to be done to get rewarded in the spiritual world, do you think it is possible that people might be wrong about what they believe 
about the spiritual world. If so, how did you come to determine your spiritual knowledge is true? Of course, I can imagine many other directions this conversation may go, but for this video, I think this is how far I'm gonna go. Uh, if you have any criticisms, suggestions, or you have some interesting experience in this topic, I'll leave them in the comments, I'll then respond to them. And that's it for this video, thanks for watching, and don't forget to be awesome.